Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we will try to build our responsive cars to meet the, our design here. So as you can see, we still have pretty ugly section. So let's get into it. I will start by our heading. So it's still small, it's not centered, and let's get it done. I will just open it and let's start. So H1, and I know it is aligned centered and it should have some padding on the top to push it from the heading I will make it 40 pixels and I will say okay I want the font size to be a bit bigger and the line height as well so font size is much bigger 2.5 RAM and line height is 120% and what else I will do? I need to change the color as well. It's a bit grayish. So I'll just copy the color and paste it here. And you can see, nice, right? It's centered, it's bigger, and the color is a bit different. I can see it's stuck to my content down. I'll just add some margin bottom here. I'll make it 30 pixels to push my content down. Nice, I think that's it for this one for now. It looks almost similar. We know, I think if you guys notice the font's a bit different, so I'll keep that to last and import it and we can change the font for everything. I'll come down here to the section. So I add a class to my card holder div, so I can target that one. I'll just copy that class, paste it here. And start designing so I know my items need to be next to each other so what I will do I'll make the card holder display flex to align my items and I will say okay I want some more uh, push from the top to be have more space I will say bedding top is 40 pixels and I'll say okay that was quick so I said that just fit content is with space between means my content if there's a width for my content and this space left over I want to have equally between them not just left on the right all that content but just put my cast next to each other equally and keep the space between them equally if there's any remaining and flex wrap and the reason is if I say okay I want my items to have one third of the space but let's say I have six, six cards I don't want them to stick next to each other here and overtake my space and be left over here but wrap it means go to a new column uh, sorry to a new row and continue there so that's flex wrap what is for okay so I will save it go back and this my content in here okay now next thing is to go to my actual div and have some which is my card have some petty and some border and what I will do I'll copy the parents so I'm targeting direct child which are my cards and I'll copy paste some CSS and I'll just take you through it so I have position relative and reason is I will need at some point for this guy here because I will make it absolute to position it here. Display flex but direction I want them to be um, column and reason is I want this content to be down. Okay and the orientation is vertical means down column but down sorry call me up but down okay and the width I want 32% and the reason not 33.33 is that I want some space left between them and I want my border to be in this color and I want the border radius the corner here to be a little bit curved four pixels background color make sure it's white and we have some shadow around the boxes I will go back here to my page then save my CSS and you can see it's all changed together because I target direct ones so it's global for it now next thing I will do I will go to the header 
in here. So that is an H5, if you see here, inside my card. So what I will say, okay, in H5 at the moment, because I don't have any others, I want to have their font size this much big, their line height this much, their font weight is bolder, and margin top and bottom is zero. Okay, I'll save it, and it did the work for me. Okay, now next thing we'll do is um, the currency in here. So this one, it's same size as the one here. I don't have to do anything, so I'll jump directly to the pricing. So what I did here, I add a class to that P, and to that dollar sign, I add a specific class called currency, and the number here, I left it as it is, because to take the full size uh, styling of this pricing box, and then this monthly here, I add it, at, I give it a different class as well, so I can target it and style it, okay? So, let me copy paste those, and I will take you through through it okay so the pricing box so we have a border here so that's my border and I have a margin bottom because the space between here and there and then I have margin top that's the space between here and there the text and then we have display flex because I want the items to be aligned together and this one here I'm saying flex end because I want things to be pushed down and then I have font size 62, you see my text here is very big and line height 72 because I want some the text to be taking more space up and down uh, I will need that later so I push this content here down without pushing the whole thing and also push this one up without pushing the whole thing again and font weight is 600 because my text is bold then I went to my currency and this is my currency here so I want to move it out but I want it to hold the space so I keep it relative and move it up 10 pixels and margin right so the space between here and the number 10 pixels and then I want to align in the flex start so I want to be up left and then font size 30 I want it to be smaller than this one and line height 28 and font weight 400 so I want it to be normal font I weight I don't want it to be bold as the number and then we have the cu a currency which is this one so text transform uppercase I want my text to be always uppercase font weight I want to be normal no margin top and bottom and font size is a bit bigger than the dollar but smaller than the number and the line height 1.4 so if I go back here and I just save my changes immediately you will say why it's not coming here because I'm not adding those classes here yet so I'm gonna ask I add them then the magic will happen now let's go to our elements here and our button you see here the tick screen there's some space between the items and then my button is pushed down below so let me just copy paste some styling I have made to save you time Okay, my list I want it to be display flex, so I have my icon and text aligned together. The margin bottom here, 18 pixels. I want my items to be centered together vertically, so that's what this one for. Then the color is slightly different, and the font size is 16 pixels, and line height 23 pixels. Then I came to my icon, so if I come here, these are my icons from Fonts Awesome. So it's an I inside an LI, the color is green, font size is smaller, and display inline block so I can give it a margin right here. Okay? And then I came to my button to make sure my buttons are always down, whatever the card big it is. Um, I want them to be aligned here, so I do margin top auto and why it's working because the main holder is display flex. So I will show you again. Uh, let me save this one, go here first on my page, save this one, see they're all pushed down and the reason is, I will come here, make sure I'm same, I go to main div, it's display flex, okay? Now what I will do, I'll just go apply these classes to these cards so they can get same styling 
So I will come here, I'll just do Let's go with the pricing box I'll just say okay here, different number And I'll come here as well I'll say some different number here and then I have um, another class I added, which is tick list. And I'll come here, edit here. And then I have my eyes added. So if I go here, what I will do, because I'm many a currency is I'll do cop no I'll do control D D D so it select all of them so I don't have to keep copy pasting oops I copied the wrong one one moment I need to copy this I here again select this one first then control D There we go. Same here. I went over. Let me do that again. Okay, see things has been changing by themselves. Now I need to go to my buttons. Add same class which we did in the header before so I take the default sign we did earlier we didn't have to style it again okay there we go now we can see that this one is pushed a little bit down and the reason is because of this thing in here okay so we have to make it absolute and position it up so what I did is I add a class here called most popular and then I went to the styles I make it absolute because I don't want to hold space I make top 50 I want to push it up a bit and write minus 109 pixels to push it to the right side and I made a padding inside here around and background color is green then I use the transform property in CSS to do rotation so I can rotate it okay so it is like like turn to the right but like in rotation way so that's because of this property and color is white font size 18 and font weight is 600 a bit bolder and I want my text to be uppercase and space between my letter I want it to be more so I add one pixel okay so if I go here for example to show you something if I go here to rotation and you play around as you see it's rotating okay so that's how you keep trying things to see how it will work for you and if you need more details about uh, the transform property you just can go to CSS transform open W3 school and you'll find like all examples and you can even try them by yourself um, to try things and here you have even more details like the origin like you want to transform at for regarding to each point or related to each point and also the transform style okay and you can see like as a first look you can have like a rotation skew and also scale like zoom in or zoom out something like that so there are lots of properties just feel comfortable to go in and try things and so you can get familiar with it and you don't need to memorize it just know it exists and what you can do with it and when you need it you just try it out and you copy and paste it okay now let's go back if I do this you see it's squeezing and I don't want that so the easiest thing I want to do is um, make them 100% width in smaller size so let's see where it's breaking it's breaking almost in um, let's say 1200 pixels is I can see the number here where it's breaking so what I would like copy paste this one 
close it off and I'll say okay maximum weight 1200 pixel screen I want uh, my card holder to not be flex anymore display block okay and see here and I want my direct dev to be with 100% and I want no margins because if you remember this one had some margins let me find this div yeah Actually, not add margins, which is good to display the whole thing for me. Great, but the only thing we need to do now, you see, it's sticking on each other, so I need to add margin bottom. Margin bottom, let's say 30 pixels. See here, and now that should work for me for all the screens. I don't need to add more endpoints at all. As much as I make it smaller, it just fits in, in the screen. Okay, in next video we'll be playing with this toggle and see how we can build it so stay tuned subscribe hit the uh, bell icon so whenever i push my next video you'll be alerted and you can follow up with this course